Look what the Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter number 7. This is concerning marriage. Let's go to verse number 2. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, which means sex before marriage, let every man have his own wife. It didn't say another man's wife, your own wife. And let every woman have her own husband. It didn't say another woman's husband, have your own husband. Let's go to verse number 9. But if they cannot contain... Let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. Nothing wrong with being married. Many of you churches out there forbid marriages. That's the wrong church. Nowhere in the word of God where it says it's wrong for being married. The Bible said in the Hebrews chapter number 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable in all. And the bed is undefiled, but the homemonger is an adulterous God will judge. I'm not talking about two same-sex marriage, because the Bible speaks against that in Romans chapter number 1. Read the whole chapter in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, and Leviticus chapter 18, um, verse 22, and chapter 20, verse 13. You got women pastors out there who nothing but lesbians don't want women to, to get married in your church. Tell them women, oh, y'all don't need no husband. You got Jesus. And no women, no women, many of you women already know in your heart that you want a man. Don't let that woman pastor hypnotize you. Come on. Then many of you men saying, oh, I don't need no wife and no, you want somebody in your life. You're letting your homosexual bishop tell you the wrong thing. Ain't nothing wrong being married to your.